you have a Focus Odin 5 F3 and you want to know how to level the bed, stay tuned, this video's for you. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna show you how to level the bed on a Focus Odin 5 F3. So if you haven't been paying attention the last couple weeks, I received the Focus Odin 5 F3 3D printer to review, which you can see that video right here. And I've been playing around with it a lot. And one of the things that I really enjoyed on this was leveling the bed. And if you're new to 3D printing, leveling the bed is probably the most important thing you could possibly do with a 3D printer. If you want your prints to turn out good, you have to level that bed just perfect so that way you'll get perfect prints. Now this is one part of the video. I'm going to show you how to set this up for leveling and then later on the video I'm going to show you how to make a file you can print to make sure that everything is level on this bed. So it's just a little more insurance and it's something that I do with all my 3D printers that I like to run a little test to make sure that all my points are lining up and everything's printing correctly and that the filament's running through correctly and that everything is pretty much on par so I can have a perfect print, especially if you're doing a print that's gonna go for over 10 hours. The first thing I want you guys to do is get yourself some of these sticky notes, post-it notes, sticky notes. You just take one of these like so. But the first thing I like to do is preheat it. And the reason why you preheat it is because everything expands and contracts. You have glass, you have metal, you have a lot of things that are expanding and contracting that can make it off a little bit. So the best thing to do is know what filament you're using. And I'm actually using Duramic 3D filament. I'm going to put this up to 220 on the hot end. I'm also going to heat the bed at 60 degrees. So that seems to be what's working for the Duramic 3D on this. If your filament's different, like a a lot of my other filaments, I usually do around 210. Make sure you level the bed when you change certain filaments that are different temperatures because there is a difference when you change the temperatures. Same thing goes for if you're gonna use PLA one day and then you go to ABS. That's a big temperature jump. I think uh, the ABS I was doing 240 or 250 around there and then 100 on the bed. That's a huge difference and that's a lot of different expanding and contraction. Let's go ahead and put this up to temperature. All right, so from the menu, you're gonna go into tools, preheat, and that's the extruder right now. We're gonna put that up. We're gonna hit the plus symbol to 220, and then we'll click on the extruder again, and now it'll be the bed, and that's the bed right there. And we're gonna put that up to 60. And you can just stay on the screen and wait for it to preheat. As you can see, that's already started heating. So why that's preheating, I realized the bed needs to be cleaned. So I got some isoprosol, isoprosol <laughs> I got some alcohol and I got a paper towel and what I'm going to do is I just pour a little on the bed while it's heating up. Well, that's a little too much, but it's not going to hurt anything. And I'm just going to wipe down the surface like so. Nice and clean. So everything is up to temperature now and the extruder is there. So we're going to go ahead and hit this back button right here. Okay. And then we're going to go to level. And these are the points that we want to level with. So let's go ahead and hit the first point. All right, so we're gonna take one of our sticky notes. This is getting in position right now, and as soon as it goes to that point, we're gonna go ahead and put this under. Right now, it's setting to home, and get ready with your sticky note, and put it right underneath the nose. And that feels a little loose. I don't like how loose that feels, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under here. So if I'm going this way, it tightens it. If I go that way, it's loosening it. So right now, that seems a little too tight. I wanna to get to the point where there's just enough drag. So that, that seems like a little too much drag. Let's bring it up a little bit more. It's a little too less. Let's go back. Like you feel like it's dragging a little bit, but there's enough room for that filament to get out, but it's also making contact with the bed. That's my sweet spot right there. Now we're gonna do the rest of the points. So we're gonna go back into that menu. We did point one, now we're gonna do point two, point three, and point four. Point two will go to the other side of the bed, point three will go to the next side of the bed, and point four will go to the other outer corner of the bed. And then point five will be the middle. So let's do that now. Thank you. 
All right, so now I went around to all five points. Now this is a good time to go start at point one and go through it again. And I'm gonna do this, and you do it as many times as you want until you feel that you got the bed perfectly level. So I'm gonna do this probably one more time for me because I kind of know the feel for my bed, but do it as many times as it makes you feel comfortable that you know you got that bed level. All right, so I went through this probably about four times to try and get it right. The one thing that I'm not liking about this printer, and it hasn't caused any problems with my prints, but I don't like how loose it is in the middle. It hasn't been a problem, but it is kind of annoying, and I feel like maybe this needs to be used a little bit more to wear in some of the wheels and some of the other parts in this. I mean, I still stand behind my original review, but the bed can be a little tricky on this machine, and they're tricky on all machines. It's just this one's a little bit more touchy. Part of me wants to take it apart, clean it up really good, and see if I can make it even better. So far, I think I got it pretty good. This is actually ready to go. What I want to do now is I want to go over to the computer and show you guys how to make a file that we can go ahead and print on this just to make sure that everything will print correctly. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, and this is going to be linked down below in the description, is download the Ender 3 test. Now, we're going to download this file. We'll go ahead and do that. It is not going to work on your focus. I'm going to tell you that right now. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to recreate it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and download that. We got that. We'll unzip that file. Okay, and if we go in here, go into files, these are all the leveling, bed leveling things for the Ender 3. They're not going to work on your focus. Don't even try. What we want is this little single layer disc. We want this little disc. So we're going to open up Cura. All right, so we're in Cura. We opened it up. If you want to know how to set up Cura for the Focus Odin 5 F3, take a look at this video right here. I go through how to set it up Cura, and I go to how to set it up in Prusa Slicer. We're going to go ahead and import that little circle. So let's go to downloads, go to your downloads folder, Ender 3 bed leveling, and then go to the files and grab the cylinder. We're going to bring that in. Now, if we go ahead and try to slice this right now, it's not going to do nothing because it's not tall enough. I don't know why it isn't. All right, so we're going to select this and we're going to turn off unified scaling. And instead of 0.1 millimeters, we're going to make it 0.3 millimeters. Let's slice it and make sure that it's only one layer. Go to preview. All right, for some reason, it's two layers. That's weird. So that's weird. For some reason, it's funny. On my Mac M1, I had to make this point three and on my regular Mac I actually had to make it 0.25 so basically what you want to do is scale this up to where it's only one layer so scale it up and if I go to preview mode you see one layer here that's what you want is one layer and it should only draw one layer so I don't know why it was different from one machine to the other it's probably because of that whole Mac M1 thing whatever the case is so let's go back to prepare click on this right click on it and we're gonna go to multiply selected go ahead and multiply it four times we want four more of these because it's gonna be five keep the one in the center this one we're going to go ahead and move it to this corner, and it's actually going to be negative 90 by 90. Okay, make sure you remember which one's the middle one, the one that says 0, 0, 0. Don't touch that one. So we're going to be touching this one. We'll put this one over here, and I just like exact numbers, so I'm going to do 90 by 90. Okay, and then we'll click this one, we'll move it to this corner, and it's going to be 90 by negative 90. And then we'll grab the last one. Put this over in the corner, and this one will be negative 90 and negative 90. Okay, so now you have all these laid out. And if we slice this and we get a preview, you do get a ring. Let's see how, how many times it goes around that ring. It only goes around it once. I'd like it to do it three times just to see how the bed adhesion's working and that we can rub your finger on it, which I'll show you that later on. So what we're going to do is go into custom, go down to build plate adhesion. It's already on skirt. If you don't have it already on, turn it on. And then you see this little control panel right here. We're going to click that on and we're going to go to skirt line count. And we're going to check that box on and we'll close that. Now you see in the build plate adhesion, build plate adhesion type with skirt and line count. I like to have three lines. So we'll do that three lines. You see that it changed. We're going to slice it again. And now when you go through it, you'll see that it goes around one, two, 
and three. And then it starts drawing those little discs. All right, so now we have the layer count and everything. The biggest thing now is we want to go over to what filament we're using. So if you're using a custom filament, go ahead and choose that custom filament. So I don't have the material that I normally like to do in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it. So I'm gonna grab generic and I'm gonna duplicate that. You should see it, yeah, it keep changes. Okay, so it should be crooked and we're gonna go into information and I'll put PLA plus and the brand, I'm gonna put Duramic 3D, all right? And that's a PLA plus, all right? And I'm gonna change it, I like it red. Don't ask me why, I guess it's because the first one they sent me was red. Print settings, 220, beds at 60, standby temperature, I still like it 220. Okay, everything else stays the same. Done. Okay, now I'll slice this. Every bed leveling is going to be different with different temperatures. It changes the expansion and contraction. Let's save this to desktop and we're going to call this 220 dash 60 because it's 220 on the hot end and 60 on the bed and I will save that to desktop and there you go that is your done file ready for your temperature and make sure you adjust your filament to the temperature that you're going to be using so I'm using the Duramic you could also use uh, other types like Overtrue or Hatchbox and make the temperature accordingly and if you want to know how to test the temperature of a PLA or any filament for that I have a little tutorial right here on doing temperature towers and how important they are to print and actually see what the temperatures actually operate under. So take a look at that video right here. All right, so we made our file with all of those little circles and we have five circles, basically all five points that we measured on the printer, plus a nice skirt going around the print bed so we can make sure that adhesion is happening all the way around the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that print. I loaded it onto the SD card, you put it into the machine. In my case, I'm running OctoPrint on all three of my machines and it's one pie running all three. Yes. Yes, took a long time to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this print and then we'll get started. All right, so it's starting the process and why it's going, we're gonna go ahead and rub on this piece and make sure that it's sticking. Don't rub on the, uh, the piece that's all the way over here because that just got started, but rub on these make sure that it's sticking it is a little hot also what i like to do is get down low and really look at the level of the print so we're going to go ahead get down low and really eyeball it and make sure that everything is printing correctly and everything looks like it's going on nice and even with this print all right so now we're up to the part where it's going to start drawing those little circles and this is going to really tell us if we got it right because when it draws those circles if they draw correctly and they fill in correctly that means everything's nice and level so i'm going to let it do all five of those circles and we'll get back to them we'll take a look at the circles and we'll see what we either a need to adjust or maybe it's good to print we'll see pretty good I'm pretty happy with it the only one that looked like a little rough was this corner right here it looks like it could have been pushed out a little bit more maybe it's a little too tight so you can see if it's too tight it'll look like it's smearing across if it's too loose it'll look like lines you kind of want to have it pretty perfect like this one right here or the one in the middle it looks really good but I would still print with that even though that looks a little more smushed it still works for me so that's how to level your Focus Odin 5 at 3. When should you level the bed? Real simple guys, anytime you move the printer, you need to level the bed. Anytime you're gonna do a large print that's gonna take like 20, 30 hours. Make sure you level that bed before you invest that time into it. Anytime you change filament, it could be the filaments make, maybe the texture's a little bit different, maybe it runs at a higher temperature, level the bed anytime you change the filament. But always watch the first layer. I like to personally watch the first and second layer be printed and know that that came out perfect, then I know my print is basically gonna come out perfect. Now there are other things that could go wrong, but usually that's the case. And before you do anything, don't tighten belts, don't mess around with anything until you level the bed if it's still not coming level then there might be something wrong with the machine then you can look into more of tightening belts or adjusting the bed or changing out springs or doing something of that nature that's it for me guys make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way and ring that bell if you enjoyed my video so you can get notified when I make more content and remember you can do anything if you put your mind to it later guys yeah that happened last night this is why it's important that you level the bed.
and also make sure that your supports are in the right place. It's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there, or if you want to do me a huge favor, click the like button or subscribe button is even better.